Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I want to talk about a new feature that's in Node-RED version 2 and it's uh, the Flow Debugger. But before I do that I want to talk to you uh, about uh, Flow Debugging in general and show you a few things that I use uh, when debugging flows and this is uh, available in all versions of, of Node-RED not just in Node-RED version 2 and above. So let's start off and I'm just going to go to this flow here it's actually a find Tasmoda devices flow and uh, I've just put a an inject node and a debug node here now to the side of the uh, debug node there's a little box here which is it's, it's grayed out on mine now this enables and disables the display of messages here in the debug uh, sidebar here so if I enable it you should see the messages start to start to appear now this is very very useful if you've got a flow with lots of debug nodes and you've got lots of activity on the side here it's very useful to be able to enable and disable them and you don't have to redeploy the the flow to do this so I can now disable it and stop them stop the messages another thing about it is you should always give the debug nodes a name um, you can see here it's called test and you can see here you can see it here is test so you know which um, debug node is coming from if you leave it at the default which I've done here called message and you have lots of these debug nodes called message you haven't got a clue what's going on in this window here when you look at them so always give it give it a name now another useful feature is the uh, the ability to filter now if you look at here it's all by default set at all nodes and what I can do is I can select the nodes I want and this is select them from all of the tabs so I've got lots of tabs here so you can see there's a tick box by the side and by default they are all selected so I can just select them from the ones I want and another very useful filter here is the current flow so if I've got lots of tabs and you probably finish up with lots of tabs in yours then you can restrict the output in this in this uh, debug window to only this the current flow which is this window here and don't forget you can also restrict it by clicking on these boxes here okay that was some quick tips on the debug node now another thing that can cause messages to appear here is um, problems in one of the one of the nodes and this is why I'm using this uh, flow here this fine Tasmoto devices flow uh, I will be covering this in uh, the Tasmoto projects video series at a later date but it, I've got it here just to, to illustrate something if I just inject into here you should see lots of errors appearing over here so if you've got a node that's generating errors uh, on a frequent basis obviously you're gonna have to fix that but if you just want to um, silence them for, for a while while you're doing something else while you're working on fixing something else then the easiest way to do that is by using a catch node now the catch node is there to catch errors so I've got it here catching the HTTP request errors which is what these are and presently I've disabled it now if I enable it now normally with this catch node you'd feed it into a debug node or you would feed it somewhere into the flow and you'd use it to actually do something so you catch an error and then you you do something about it but here all I'm using it for is basically to swallow the errors so I don't actually see them they don't interfere with the, the rest of the debugging so now if I inject it let's deploy it first actually so now if I inject again you, you'll see the errors appearing on the node but they won't appear here anymore they appeared on the node but they haven't appeared over here okay so a couple of useful things well a couple of things I hope you find useful when when debugging flows but let's go to the flow debugger which is the reason I did this video now it's only it's only there in version 2 and above and if you look I'm on version 205 the first thing you need to do is install it and if you go and do a search for it and just search for debug 
you can see it here. Now, I've actually installed this, and I've only noticed this while I was doing the video. It isn't showing that it is installed. It lets me install it again. I'm not going to install it again because it's already installed. What it doesn't do is it doesn't actually produce a node in the, the node palette, but it does actually in introduce another tab, which I'll show you in a second. So I'm not sure why that's not showing as installed, but it is installed, but you'll need to install it. So there it is there. So let's just close that. And if I go to the tabs, you can see now I've actually got a flow debugger tab here. And you can see currently it's disabled. So let's enable it. And when it's enabled, what it does is it allows me to insert breakpoints at the input and output of, of any of these nodes. So if I hover over the input to this node, you can see a little blue box here. And if when the hand appears, I click it that puts a breakpoint there and to remove it I do the opposite and the breakpoint is gone. Now let me see this flow or let me show you this flow working normally and let's just go on to the debug node and if I inject a message here it gets sent via MQTT and appears here and then through the function and into the out and it gets displayed here and all this function node is doing is changing the payload so it's test, test 2. So if I inject, out comes test 2. So that's the way it normally works. So now let's do it again and this time let's get in the flow debugger and this time we put a breakpoint here and we put a breakpoint here at the end of this node. So we've got two breakpoints. You can see the breakpoints appear here in the right hand side. Now let me inject again. Now one thing to notice, you've got the flow control up here which is basically like a media player where you can continue resume the flows. Now you can see it's got one message here. Now if there's several messages coming in here then you would have messages appearing here. They would be queuing up on the input to this node. There's nothing on the output of the node because it hasn't gone into the node yet. And you can see it's displayed the message here, test, which is the message I'm sending with this timestamp, sorry, with this um, inject node. And that's what's the message that's appearing on the input to this node. Now if I resume it, now the message has gone to the end of the node and you can see the payload is test 2. And if I resume again, the message gets sent to the out node and if I go to the debug you can see it's appeared at the out node here. Now do it again. Now notice these are showing a symbol, I'm not sure what this symbol is, but it's, it's a symbol nonetheless and if I go to the the other ones here they're also showing the same thing. The entire flow is stopped or it's paused. So nothing else is happening in this flow while you while you're pausing it. So even though it's I've de using the um debugger here in this tab here, it stopped the entire flow. And one thing that's interesting about it, and I actually stopped this while I while I was doing it, if I enable this and deploy it. You can see the messages are still being sent out of this um, inject node but they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere because the flow is paused. Right? If, I res if I resume the flow you can see all of those messages go through. Now I showed you um, using it on the function node but you can use it on any of the nodes you can use it on the input of this node on the output of this node so it, it's not restricted to the the function node you can use it on any of the nodes so that's it the flow debugger it allows you to put breakpoints in the flow but be careful because it does put it does actually when you activate it it does pause the entire flow so you can only really do this in a test environment if you're actually trying to de debug a tab a flow tab um, in a workspace and you've actually got 
um, working um, flows going on you can't really use this because you're going to stop the entire workspace now you can remove these um, breakpoints very quickly just by disabling it and the breakpoints are gone but as soon as you enable it again the breakpoints are still there so once you've actually completely finished debugging then you will need to remove these breakpoints manually like that so that's it uh, the flow debugger a new feature and very useful feature that's in uh, node red version 2 so that brings us to the end of the video if you like the video then click on the like button below if you want to be notified of new videos then subscribe to the channel and if you've got any comments please leave them below so until next time goodbye